Welcome to The Leather Journey. I'm Dex and tonight we're going to begin a wax play series. And I don't want it to just be any old wax play. I've looked at quite a bit of the wax play that's on YouTube and available on the net. And everybody seems to focus in on dripping candles, candle dripping play. Um, that's a slippery slope because when you go in the store and you buy a taper uh, or you buy a, a candle off the shelf, you don't know what's in that wax. You don't know what temperature that candle burns at. And typically store-bought candles have beeswax in them and a number of other contaminants that are gonna raise the temperature or the melting point of that wax. So really for safe wax play, you need to use wax that uh, you know uh, what the melting point is, you know that it's gonna be low enough temperature wax that it's gonna be safe to do erotic play with. We're gonna demonstrate in this series, we'll talk about candle dripping. We'll even talk about safe ways of doing candle dripping if you're using store-bought candles that burn at too high a temperature point. But we're also gonna focus on paraffin pot waxing. The paraffin pot is a wonderful wax technique and I don't see too many people talking about it uh, on BDSM Dungeon Play channels. Uh, we'll talk about different supplies and setup. Uh, setup's very important because if you're doing paraffin pot play, you have to assume you're going to have splatter, you're going to have drips. Uh, and so we'll talk about preparing for um, a day at the spa, a full body waxing. So that's our introduction. Uh, we're we're going to have uh, a wax bottom and do a full waxing and talk about different techniques and different fun things you can do when you do a waxing. 